The 34th GCC Summit concluded this afternoon in Kuwait with a number of decisions that strive to strengthen the cooperation between the six member states. More, in, more details in this report with our correspondent, Mohamed Shaban. Further political, economic, security and social cooperation, those were the fruits and recommendations of the 34th GCC Summit that came to a close in Kuwait today after two days of deliberations between their majesties and highnesses, the leaders of the GCC states. Wider areas of cooperation, uh, joint uh, projects, remarkably was the uh, joint command for a new force uh, parallel to uh, Al Jazeera Shield, and that as a prelude to further step of unification. The second one was uh, more of, of trying to uh, uh, get sort of economic uh, recovery and economic uh, needs, uh, i.e., to make it more relevant to the people there. And the third uh, 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 sort of direction was the security stroke political, and that was specifically Iran, uh, specifically the challenges regarding Syria, and then the outer uh, sort of areas, in addition to the traditional one, which is the Palestine-Israel. The most notable of decisions was the initiation of a joint rail network connecting the GCC states scheduled to be completed by 2018. Employing youth talents by initiating joint GCC projects, the establishment of a Gulf Academy for Strategic Studies, a joint Gulf Food and Drug Administration and Public Health Body. I think they focused on the economy side more than other, uh, other issues, but uh, maybe uh, they, they take uh, the, the, the agreement between uh, uh, Iran and five plus one uh, in an eye of, uh, of uh, interesting. They, uh, I think they are uh, giving a good willing uh, to, to Iran to, to see what, what will this uh, agreement will, 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 will give us in the GCC countries. Despite anticipation on a decision on the issue of moving the Council to a state of union, the Council decided to postpone a decision after further deliberations. But the summit did not fall short in addressing the major regional issues, including Syria, Egypt and Iran. We, there's definitely a lot of regional players at play. Um, Turkey has been discussed, uh, Iran has been discussed at great length, uh, first with the, with the landmark Geneva deal and what that means for Gulf states, also what it means for its nuclear program going forward. Obviously GCC states have a lot of dis uh, disgrievances uh, that they have with Iran that they will need to settle and will need to see some sort of real intention from Iran to uh, you know, be able to boost or uh, kickstart a relationship all over again after years and years of of, you know, challenges. Two days filled with a sense of unity and cooperation. The summit followed its predecessors in working towards further strengthening the Council and its solidarity. And the 34th GCC summit comes to an end with further decisions and recommendations together with a promise to continue the joint march of the six member states. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News, Kuwait.